Well, there's no going back now, is there? No. Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now that, <laughs> that was a major piece. Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool. I am heading back to the site of the former Woolworths and Hart store here in South Shore. I had to nip away for a little while after the last video. We saw them preparing, preparing it for demolition. Now they've actually started the demolition. I've come back a couple of hours later. Sorry I missed the start, but uh, I had some other things to do. So I'm going to take you back down there now. And they've actually started to uh, to demolish the store. So sun's come out as well. What do you reckon? Let's go and check it out, shall we? So I'm heading along Bolton Street here, back to where I was this morning. A couple of ambulances flying up. So they've actually started to demolish this store here, which used to be Woolworths in the olden days. Originally a Woolworths store. I'm not sure when it was built. But uh, yeah, it's quite a bit of history to it. And then it became the Heart Store. And the Heart Store was very popular. So in later years it became the Heart Store. Well, look at this sirens going off all over the place. It's kicking off in Blackpool. Well, it's certainly kicking off here at South Shore because this building here is being demolished. At long last, they've been waiting ages to knock this down. The owner, I spoke to the owner before, Howard, and at last, how are you doing? You all right? And this demolition is being carried out by a firm called Pytech of Bolton. Yeah. I don't think we've, uh, we've had a few demolitions on, on the channel. And it's the first time I've heard of that firm. Pytech of Bolton, who are demolishing this store here. Which, he remembers it when it was Woolworths, I know I do. You can see they've taken you can see market up there on that sign. It used to say hearts, we put hearts over it. Look. Oh, there goes the sign. Oh, watch out, there's a telegraph wire up there. You don't want to. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's coming down now, folks. It's a... Oh, oh. Whoa. Wow. Oh, that was a major bit, that wasn't it? Wowzers. Oh my goodness. I think I might have to sell back here. <laughs> wow. quite a nice brick. It's not the most, uh, it's not the grandest of buildings by any means. It was the second Woolworth store, of course, secondary to the uh, the flagship store in the town centre. Well, that's the Art Deco one near the tower. Um, everything down this part of town was always going to be smaller than its equivalent in the town. The same with the uh, the post office as well. There's a, there's a, if you saw my first video, you'll see the post office. 
down here, Waterloo Road. Quite a big building, but I'm nowhere near as grand as the uh, the post office in town. But yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a very very big occasion. This it's a massive occasion to see this uh, this building finally come down after all these years of standing derelict when hearts closed. It's been a bit of an eyesore. But now, oh, it is coming down. Ooh. Another bit of history in Blackpool being made right here. We've seen hotels come down. Started off with the Ambassador Hotel. That was the first demolition I took at the Ambassador Hotel. And then we did knock down the bingo hall, the entire bingo. And then there was the, uh, the St. Chance Hotel. That came down. And the last one I think I covered was the uh, the new Hackett's Hotel, the North Promenade. And now we're watching the demolition of this store here. Big favourite is the Heart Store. A lot of people will remember when it was Woolworths as well, I do certainly. I was always in here when it was Woolworths. One of those uh, machinery. One, one of those uh, that everyone would like to have a go on. I'm sure we'd all like to have a little go at this, wouldn't we? But there's a method in the destruction, and I'm sure it takes a lot of training, a lot of experience to operate a machine like this. You don't want to just go in there and just, you know, <laughs> it's got to be done in a certain way. coming down. It says on that steel beam there, Foster Brothers Hope, Hope Boundary, Preston. That's who made that steel work there.
Yeah, can you see that there? Look. Look at that. Hiya. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. I've yeah. seen you on your videos, on your walk on the wild side. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. It's about well, time to get this though, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's been a long, long time coming, yeah. So. That's all leading, isn't it? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. They're quite nice bricks as well. Yeah, they're quite nice bricks. I like the way the wind is. If you look at the windows, the bricks are like curved. So while it's not the uh, the not the grandest of the bill, still still some nice attention to detail on it. to go back now. Fresh fish and chips. Well, I don't think there's been many fish and chips uh, being fried in this shop lately, by the look of it. So this is how it looks from Bond Street. The demolition is well underway now, as you can see. Can't go back now. Thank <laughs> you. 
my goodness, it's getting too dusty down there. I've decided to come over here because it's so, oh my goodness, the dust is blowing right at me, but we've got quite a crowd here, as we can see. How are you doing? You okay? Hey, have you got it all? Hey? Have you got it all? Um, I didn't quite get the very start, Yeah. but we're right getting into it now, aren't we? I've just been down there, but all the dust is blowing that way, so yeah. I've decided to come here. Stand back a little bit, I think. I've watched your video all day, sir. Thanks. Yeah, well, I came down to do a video this morning, which will probably go out any time now, if I put it out. And then I came back again, and they'd, they'd already started on it, but... Yeah. Uh, we, we live in, you know, Talbot Court Flats there. Uh, yeah. Nice at the side. I was just talking about oh, it gone now. One of the lads, his, his house is right uh, against the wall. All right, the building. Yeah. Oh, around the back. Around the back yeah, on, yeah. on the back street. Yeah, right. Yeah. So they're just taking a little bit of a break from the demolition, but uh, they've really, really got into it. They've probably been going for about an hour or so. This is how it looks on water. The sun's come out, it's looking a lot better now that the sun's come out, isn't it? I mean, it's quite cloudy this morning when I came out and it's still quite windy. But uh, this is how it looks so far. Here's a look from the Waterloo Road side, the corner. See right into it there. Look at that. Trying to keep the dust down with the house, but when I was down there before, my goodness, it was coming right at me, so I decided to come round here. Well, there's no going back now, is there? No. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now that... <laughs> that was a major piece! Oh my goodness! Council will come along now and say, Can you put it back together again? Yeah, we don't want you to knock it down. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you put that roof back on now? an absolutely major piece there that came off there, yeah. Wow. Say goodbye to the sign. We have to separate all the wood and the steel, of course, and the brick. Put them into different skips.
We are looking into the sun here, so uh, you'll have to excuse that. Major bit coming off now off that roof there. Mind you, it does look surprising. You know, when you look at these demolitions, when, when they're coming down these buildings, they actually look fairly flimsy, don't you think? Pretty busy here. Keep up with the dodge all these cars. Yeah. But like the guy said in the previous video, Howard, he said the building hadn't really been maintained very well for a long, long time, long before he bought it. And if it's not worth turning into a a fancy shop, which it won't be around here, really. Then why not just turn it into a car park or or um, apartments? Because at least that's going to make the area look better. It's going to improve the area. A lot of tiles on that roof, yeah. Just thought of something. They're going to trash the Bond Street sign, the street sign there, aren't they? They're going to trash it. Is it going to pay for a new one? There'll be a small price to pay. Let's have a look around. Come and say hello. We follow Hiya. you rapidly on YouTube. Oh, thank you. What an absolute superstar you are. Yeah, I've just been speaking to a few people from from all over who recognise us. It's a nice place. Just want to say hi to Chris who just went past in a in a big white van. I think it was. Uh, I don't know, hi to Chris, anyway, he knows who he is. And um, I walked in there, but I've got a trolley full of uh, shopping. Got to the tier and I thought, oh my God, I've no money on me. And they said, oh, don't worry, Ron, we know who you are. Come and pay next time when you come in. That's how good it used to be then. Yeah. They wouldn't do that now. Yeah. It's good for you, but obviously, Hello, Mr. Thingy, we want you to Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Watch, watch out for the car. Yeah, Bye-bye. <laughs> so there you go, I'm going to leave it there now. It's around about two o'clock in the afternoon and they've certainly chopped into the building there. There were some major pieces that came down there, as you can see. And they've stopped now for a break, so I'm just going to head back. And uh, I'm going to end this video now. I might nip back a bit later on and see how they're doing, but um, if you haven't seen the first video, check it out. I'll put a link to it at the end of this one. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.